World War I witnessed the rise of military leaders who would shape the course of history. Among them was France Conrad von Hotzendorf, the Austro-Hungarian chief of the general staff, whose leadership and strategies had a profound impact on the war on and the Eastern and Ontalian fronts. This article explores the life, career, and contributions of France Conrad von Hotzendorf during World War I. Early Life and Military Career Franz Xaver Joseph Conrad von Hotzendorf was born on November 11, 1852, one in Penzing, Austria-Hungary. He came from a noble family with a long tradition of military service. He began his military career at the Austro-Hungarian War School, where he excelled as a promising young officer. Over the years, Conrad rose through the ranks, gaining valuable experience on in various military campaigns one including the Austro-Hungarian annexation of Bosnia-Herzegovina on in 1908. By 1916, he had become the chief of the general staff of the Austro-Hungarian army, a position he would hold until 1917. Contributions to the Eastern Front Conrad's leadership during World War I was most notable on the Eastern Front. He was a strong advocate for launching offensives against Russia and believe it on and achieving a decisive victory there. His strategic plans led to the famous Brusilov Offensive in 1916, a joint Austro-Hungarian and German campaign against Russia. Conrad's aggressive approach, however, often stretched the already overextended Austro-Hungarian forces to their limits. His focus on the Eastern Front sometimes led to neglect of the Italian Front, which would later have significant consequences. Challenges and Controversies Despite his strategic prowess, Conrad faced several challenges and controversies during the war. One of the most significant was his strained relationship with Germany, the Austro-Hungarian Empire's ally. Conrad often clashed with the German high command over the allocation of resources and the direction of the war effort. Furthermore, his tactics were sometimes criticized for their recklessness, leading to unnecessary losses of men and resources. His repeated failed attempts to break through on the Eastern Front, particularly on and the Gorlis Tarno Offensive, raised questions about his judgment and leadership. Italian Front and the Collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire One of the most controversial aspects of Conrad's tenure as chief of the general staff was his handling of the Italian Front. His strategists on and this theater were marked by a series of costly offensives, most notably the disastrous Battle of Caporatun in 1917. This defeat, which allowed German and Austro-Hungarian forces to advance deep on and to Italian territory, had dire consequences for the Allied war effort. The Collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire As the war dragged on, the Austro-Hungarian Empire faced own internal strife, ethnic tensions, and economic hardships. One in 1917, Emperor Charles I dismissed Conrad from his position as chief of the general staff due to his failures on the Italian front and his strained relationship with Germany. This marked the beginning of the end for both Conrad's military career and the Austro-Hungarian Empire on self. Conclusion France Conrad von Hotzendorf's role on end World War I was marked by bold strategies, controversies, and, ultimately, disappointment. While he demonstrated tactical acumen on the Eastern Front, his aggressive approach often came at a high cost. His failures on the Italian front and his own ability to work effectively with Germany contributed to the downfall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. France Conrad von Hotzendorf remains an enigmatic figurion in the history of World War I, a military leader whose ambition and determination shaped the course of events but ultimately led to the dissolution of the empire he served. His legacy serves as a reminder of the complex and challenging nature of leadership during times of war.